The siege began at around 700 GMT, where gunmen burst through security at the hotel entrance in Bamako. Occasional bursts of gunfire were had as the assailants went through the seven-floor building, room by room and floor by floor. Mali's Minister for Internal Security said three people had been killed and two wounded. By 11 a.m., the hotel was surrounded by French soldiers and more than 100 UN peacekeepers and Malian troops. We know that since 6 this morning, the Radisson Hotel has been the target of an attack by a number of individuals who have not yet been identified. But everything leads us to believe that this is a terrorist attack. As you can see, I am here with the main investigators. We have started an investigation and in the next hours we will be able to give you information about this grave situation. Malian security services evacuated about a dozen persons from the hotel. Security sources also say the gunmen freed some hostages. Escaped witnesses described the hostage situation. The soldiers were very professional. They took good care of us. I tried something but then the soldiers said, stay in the room. So he stayed in the room, they came to us, they knocked, they said, it's the security forces, and then I looked, it was them. I left the room. They cleared the whole floor. I heard gunshots very early in the morning. I thought it was firecrackers and didn't realize it was a hostage situation. I left to go to the hotel's restaurant, and then I saw that there was a lot of smoke, so I returned to my room. At one stage, the Malian forces came to get us. They knocked on our doors and evacuated us in small groups. Thank God we're safe. Among the hostages were about 10 Chinese citizens. The Chinese embassy in Mali, however, says the hostages were unharmed. Turkish Airlines said that six of its crew members at the hotel have been freed and one was still inside. I have just spoken to Turkish Foreign Minister. Our embassy has established a crisis desk. We had seven citizens in there and five of them have been rescued. We are in contact with two others. They are in good health. They don't have any health problems. We are making every effort to rescue them. As I said, five of our seven citizens have been rescued and our efforts to rescue two others continue. Malian President Ibrahim Babakar Keita cut short a trip to a regional summit in Chad to return to Bamako. Supporters of Al-Qaeda affiliated group claim responsibility for the attack in Mali. The attack was the second on a Mali hotel in the past few months. A siege in August in the central Malian town of Savare left four soldiers, five UN workers and four attackers dead. Susan Mugeli, CCTV.